And after the heavy rain we saw this morning, there were fears it could have led to flooding. 22 News Storm Team meteorologist Jennifer Paye explains what happens during a flash flood. Well, it's pretty simple. It's a flood that happens in a flash, but there is more to just that. The first thing to understand about flash floods is awareness. I don't really think about it because this doesn't happen where I live anyway. I mean, I don't know. I mean, is there such a thing in this area? People in low-lying areas find problems with flash floods more often than those who live on higher ground. But just because you live on a hill doesn't mean you're not at risk. Let's start with what is a flash flood. So the official definition of a flash flood is rapid levels of high water rising in an already dry area. The reason they call it a flash flood is because the water level comes up within six hours. So-called normal flooding takes place over a longer period of time. If you live near a river or a stream, you'll probably see them more often. Um, I live right by a river, so uh, it rises a lot. And it's, uh, I know a lot of the houses that live on the river, it's a problem. Never drive through a flooded road. You never know how deep the water is. It depends, I guess, on like the day. Like if I was really determined to get home, I'd probably keep going. But like if I thought that'd be like too unsafe to keep going, I would turn around. It's also important to know the difference between watch and warning. When you hear watch, there is a potential for a flash flood. When you hear warning, a flash flood is already occurring. Flash flooding occurs best when there is a lot of rain all at once during a short period of time.